Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video on my March favorites because I haven't done a favorites video in a while and I have like actual new things that are favorites for me. Like, actually, everything in my favorites video is something new that I tried um, in the past couple months, and a lot of them are recent tries that have like are really popular products, but I don't have the money to splurge on them just to have them. And I, I mean, like, I just get them over time as I can afford them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get started with the stuff that's not actual makeup. So I have two nail polishes here, and I'm not a person who likes to wear like colorful nail polishes. I love like new nails, natural new nails. Um, if my nails were pretty enough, I would wear them plain with like clear polish all the time. I think that's so beautiful, like natural. But I, f I feel like I found the perfect new nail polishes for basically just just all around. Just a great new nail polishes. Um, they are, and I'm sure like I think this one's pretty popular because when I cut it, like I couldn't remember the name of this nail polish, and I used to always want it in the shellac form. And every time I would go to the salon, the lady always knew what I was talking about. But anyways, this is Bubble Bath by OPI. It's more of like um, a pinker, like nude, and it's super pretty, especially if you have like really pale skin. This is a really pretty nude. Um, it's a little lighter on me, but still, regardless, it's super pretty. And then the next one is OPI. They're both OPI, but the, um, this one is Samoan Sand, and. I got this one in the infinite shine because I do like I like my nails to be shiny. And um, I actually really like the infinite shine. Like I think it, it, it's pretty shiny. It's pretty nice. Um so yeah, those are just those are the only nail polishes I have. I actually have them like on my nose now, but I actually hate my hands. They're like old lady-ish, they're really wrinkly and skinny. So yeah. I actually have like a layer of each on my nails right now. This is the only I don't have like a million favorites this month, but um, this is the only other one that's not actual makeup. I went to Urban Outfitters at the Galleria. This is a hair and body mist, and I've seen online that there's a perfume version of this, but they didn't have it at Urban Outfitters, um, but they had like other uh, body mist of this, like from this line or brand or whatever, and they had the actual perfume to it. I wish this one did because I would have got that too. Um, but this is 3.4 ounces, it's huge, and it was 24 bucks. And I mean, I usually spend like 70 bucks on a perfume, like a really good one. Like, honestly, like, probably my favorite scent I've ever smelled in my entire life. I want a candle like it, I want, a, I want like a body wash like this. Oh my gosh, if I could smell like this all the freaking time, it would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's called, I haven't even said the name of it yet, it's called Cell Ocean. That's how you pronounce it. I got it from Urban Outfitters, 24 bucks for this huge thing, and it smells like like it has a little bit of sweet in it. Like I, ha I think I like it because it kind of smells. Like it has a dash of like product candy in it. It really does. It has a little bit of sweet, but it's super super clean. Like it's a really clean scent. It's this is, a, this is probably the best thing ever. As soon as I can get my hands on the actual perfume, I'm gonna buy like a couple. So I never just, never wanna run out of this. So good. Okay, so the, those are my only like not makeup things. So the next thing that I'm about to show you, you're gonna be like, are you kidding? Like, you're just jumping on the bandwagon. But homegirl only has a certain amount of money. Um, Okay, I guess I'll just talk about the first thing since it's just been the most popular thing for a while now. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I've been dying to get my hands on this, but I just just have it. And I mean, freaking palettes are expensive. And I mean, I already have like a lot of other palettes. So I waited until I thought I deserved it and I got it. This is one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes ever. Um, my favorites were the Kylie Jenner bronze palette and um, 
Cathy Mattes, I love those two. Those two are really awesome. And then Cathy Mattes Times Morphe palette. This one, like, just, just great. Like the quality, the colors, I love it. It's like perfect for me. It has like transition colors. It has highlight shades that I actually like, which I'm really picky about highlight shades. And I actually like this one. Um, it has a brown, which people love blacks in palettes, which is awesome. But a good brown is like, that's what gets me. If you have a good brown in the palette, yes. But this is awesome. So, also it has that like burnt orange in it. This is really nice. Like the, the shadows are so pigmented. It's great. Um, I still love my other palettes, like the Kylie Jenner one or um, Kathy Max. Love those. Really do. But this is so new to me. It's so awesome. Yeah, I love it. The next thing, and this is probably like the perfume or the body mist, is probably my favorite thing out of everything that I have right now. But my second all-time favorite out of all my favorites this month is probably this, um, I actually don't know what this is called. I know it's a primer from Becca. Oh, okay, it's the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh Base. Um, so it's a primer. And it has like, I'm gonna put a little bit back my hair. This one more was pretty pricey, but you do get a good amount and you don't need that much. To me, it was so weird looking. I was looking at this and I was like, it's purple. What am I gonna do with the purple primer? But I just put it on the back of my hand. I thought it was gorgeous, so I tried it out. It's the best thing ever. Like, I have really dry skin, so this is hydrating because it's kind of watery. But it's, I don't even think you could tell anything. It just brightens. Like, without adding glitter, it just brightens everything. And it's not like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector liquids where it's like, has a little bit of oiliness to it and it's gonna make you oily throughout the day. It's not like that, it's not full of glitter. It just has like a glow, like a really, just really pretty natural glow. And I think this is probably one of the coolest things ever. Like I love how it's purple, I just love that. It's, it's just pretty, the packaging is pretty. It's just pretty. If you have oily skin and you want something, you want to have a glow but you don't want to be oily, I think this this would be amazing. You should try it. Like, go, don't go buy it because it's expensive. See for yourself, get a sample from Sephora, try it because it smells like flowers too. The thing that everybody's been talking about is the Tarte Shape Tape. Ah! The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This stuff is really nice. Um, if you want like full coverage, I still love the Urban Decay um, concealer. I just think I like them for two different reasons. This one's more full coverage, but it's beautiful. I have it on today. Um, the Urban Decay one is a little more lightweight, so I like that one for that reason. But this has been awesome, and I actually even like this for carving out my eyebrows. I'm really picky about my concealer for my eyebrows, and I only was using the um, Maybe we fit me for that, but now that I have this, I can just do everything with this. I think it's beautiful. I actually had to return the first one I got because I let, usually don't do this, but I let um, the lady match me and literally the concealer that she gave me was the color of my skin. So putting it under my eye, it looked like crazy, like all crazy. And I was like, what the hell? So I have to go back, return it, and I'm in the shade light medium honey <laughs> okay that was awkward my cats are sitting on the window seat and i'm sitting in front of the window and these people just walked by the window there's like a dad his child and they're like looking at the cats all on it's so awkward because i'm sitting here so i wonder if they could see me anyways um so the last trendy thing and i actually have the trial size this is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer And this is the number two, I believe. So step one, number two. Or oh, at least that's what the box says. I think that's how it works. Um, this, this is a skin equalizer one, the smoothing primer. This is the one that like fills in your pores. I've never tried, like because I have such dry skin, it's so hard for me to find a primer that doesn't like ball up, you know? So annoying. Like, you know what I mean when they're kind of like, if you have dry skin and you're putting on like a, 
a Pullman Rising Primer and it balls up. That's the most annoying and aggravating thing to me. This does not do that. Whether my skin is not like at its best or it's super extra dry, this does not bother at all. It is so, so awesome. Um, I probably should have tried this way sooner, like when it first got hooked up, but I'm not really into like immediately going to grab something unless I know for sure that like, I'm going to like it. This will probably last me a while. This is half an ounce and full size is not full ounce. Okay, I have two more things left. Um, first, this is from the drugstore. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. And I have the Butter Bronzer. I don't use it as bronzer because it's too light. I use it as a setting powder. And I absolutely love it because it smells so good. This smells exactly the same. It's freaking amazing. Like, I need a whole line of stuff that smells like this. I need, like, a foundation that smells like this. I need a lipstick that smells like this. I just need a whole bunch of everything. It really smells like you. I sit on the beach drinking a pina colada. Never done that before, but that's what it smells like. So this blush is in the shade um, Plum Rose. I think they have two. One is more of like a tan color, a light, light tan. Um, looks like it has like sparkles in it. And I want that one as well. Um, and then this one is um, a rosy color, but it's super light. It doesn't even look like something that would show up on my skin. It barely does, but it, it just gives like a beautiful glow. And I have it on my face right now. And I absolutely love it. But I don't. If you're much darker than me, I'm not sure what it would look like. I thought it was going to be really ashy, and it turned out to be beautiful, like the um, formula. The formula of it is super nice like it's super soft it's a really really good blush so I really want to get the other one okay last but definitely not least I feel like this is such a good buy um, it's not my favorite of all I still think the best brow gel is the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel but this is a close second um, this is the Milani brow shaping clear gel and this one is the drugstore, so much cheaper, um, and I love it. I think it's really, really good. It does not make your eyebrows as hard as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one does, but it is, regardless, it's so freaking amazing. If you're looking for a, a drugstore brow gel, definitely get the Milani one. I haven't really heard people talk about this. Maybe it's something that's super popular already. I'm not even sure. I don't know, but yeah, so. That's it for the month of March, and I feel like this year is just, just, it's gone already. It's already gone. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.